In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the voltage of an irrigation controller. The first step that is often skipped is checking the plug to see if it has the correct voltage and if it has been wired in correctly. This device, which you can pick up from any home improvement store, will not only tell you the voltage, which in America should be around 120 volts, but will also tell you if the plug has been installed correctly. This is an extremely important step that shouldn't be skipped as incorrect wiring can wreak havoc on an electrical device such as a sprinkler controller and cause it to break. Next, open your controller and remove the faceplate to expose all of the wires. Using a screwdriver, disconnect the common wire. We do this so nothing will fire while we are doing our electrical test. Set the function switch on your multimeter at the V position. Set the range switch to 200. Connect the multimeter leads to each of the 24 vac terminals. If the transformer is working, then you should have a reading around 24 volts. More often than not, it will be higher than 24 volts. Next, turn on each of the zones one at a time and connect the black lead to the common output and the red lead to the field wire output. Again, you should get a voltage reading around 24 volts often higher. Once you have tested all of the stations, fire each station again, but this time test the master valve output. Connect the black lead to the common output and the red lead to the master valve output. If the master valve output is working correctly, then when each zone fires, the master valve output should also be putting out around 24 volts. If any of your terminals aren't putting out the right voltage, you have two options. If you have an extra spot on the controller, you can move the field wire to it. Alternatively, remove the broken controller and install a new one.